National Science Roundup gets young people involved in STEM because it allows youth to really be able to apply science. When they come here, they're able to get a practical application of how science, technology, engineering, and math can apply to an animal project and hopefully spark their interest in a STEM field. My job is to develop curriculum and programs for youth, and obviously a large portion of that are our 4-H youth that are enrolled in animal science projects. We have about 16,000 youth in the state that are enrolled in an animal project. I think it's a really good opportunity to learn new things and meet new people along the way. I really wanted to try to expand my network and just learn a little bit more about my industry. One big thing right now that they're trying is genomics testing and so I'd kind of like to learn about that and see um, what traits we're looking for that are going to cause problems or risks and how we can fix that. Today while they are at 4-H Roundup they will be doing a lot of hands-on activities that they wouldn't be able to do at home. In a way it's like getting a feel for college because we're living just like college students. I've been showing swine ever since I was two years old. It's always been a part of my life. I would like to be a professor that specializes in swine, but overall be in animal science. From Animal Roundup, I really want to gain um, more knowledge about the industry and seeing what we can do as farmers and how we can implement it into our own operation. Iowa State Extension and Outreach is a non-biased, research-based place to get information. We are the number one source for information in this state as it relates to animal science because we are doing the research here at this university. We have to continue to educate our consumers and our youth so that they know that our conventional farming practices are sustainable, that we are environmentally friendly, and that we are doing a great job of raising a healthy food source for our future and educating our youth and our parents and general consumers about that is imperative if we hope to continue and be able to grow and feed the world.